Yes, welcome back to uh, Queen's Wednesday on YN The Morning. My name is Barry Mosses, or it's Barry on social media. Yes, so special thanks to Alex and Val for always starting on Wednesdays on a laughing note. As I always say, if you interact with a video that you think might break the views, make us laugh or make us mesmerize, send it our way on Y254 channel on Twitter, Y254 underscore channel on Instagram, and Y254 on Facebook. It's time for Strength of a Woman, my favorite segment of the week uh, for sure. And my Strength of a Woman of the Day believes in... Uh, in the kids, if you want to build a society, you build it from the ground up. And if you want to secure a future, work with the kids. Because the future is in the children. Karibu sana, uh, future reverend. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> all right, your camera much. is number four. Thank you. Just very introduce much. yourself all with right. all the titles and all the credentials you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, my name is Vivian Wajikowari, mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. um, I'm born again. That's my first credential. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I also work for the children and teens uh, mm -hmm. in the Diocese of All Saints Cathedral mm -hmm. as a children and teens coordinator. Mm -hmm. I'm also um, an actress with Kameme and mm -hmm. Inor uh, TV. Mm -hmm. um, but most of all, I mean, um, a servant of God. A servant citizen. of God. Yes. Right, just help me pronounce that second and third name correctly. Wajiko Walido. <laughs> okay, Wajiko Warido. Yeah, Wajiko Rido. Oh. It's just a Kikuyu way of saying it. Way of saying it. it. I'm yeah. trying to say it the best way. Wajiko Warido. Wajiko Warido. I tried. <laughs> Out of ten? Six. Six. <laughs> that is a bummer rate. <laughs> so remember, we're on social media, as I yeah. say, white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook. Interact with us. You can hit me up directly at It's My Mo. Wajiko yeah. Warido. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'd like to take you back to when you were studying <coughs> mass communication. Yes. All right. <laughs> there was a time like that. Yes, yeah. you had a passion for this. This is something yes. you had a passion for. And I still do. You still I, do have yeah. a passion for it? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I, I believe that the media holds um, people. Mm -hmm. And um, right now, everyone is, is on social media, TV, mm -hmm. uh, movies, all these things are influencing a lot. Mm -hmm. um, they're influencing people. Mm -hmm. Young children right now are always on TV. Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. is actually uh, in the media. And I believe that if we are to impact change, then mm -hmm. we have to start from where people are mm -hmm. um, in social media, in mm -hmm. TV, and in all things, mm -hmm. in, in all things uh, to do with media. I think, first of all, mm -hmm. I would criticize in a good way, mm -hmm. criticize everyone, including <laughs> including myself. <laughs> all, this all is the <laughs> first time I get criticized on this show. <laughs> so but bring anyway, it on. No, yeah. This this should be, I think, a way of, mm -hmm. of me saying that we should find at least uh, in all news. Sometimes uh, it's very sad. It's it's very sad to mm -hmm. watch news because there is nothing that is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, people are looking for hope. People mm -hmm. are looking for joy. Something mm -hmm. to smile about. Mm -hmm. You just talked about smiling mm -hmm. and. People are looking for something good, mm -hmm. but our news is just sad. Mm -hmm. Everything is wrong. So our it's a bonus to give that hope. It's yeah. a bonus to put that smile on people's faces. Yeah. That's why we have breaking views, by the way, <laughs> uh, for that uh, for that matter. Mm -hmm. But sometimes when you look at uh, how the the society is set, uh, what makes news? Mm -hmm. And the sad things, mm -hmm. and we are in business, you know, sometimes it's it's very difficult to <laughs> to, to bring a story mm -hmm. just because it's a happy story and it's not going to make the news. <laughs> I think it's a culture uh -huh. that can change. Uh -huh. And we have always, I mean, news yeah. is something that is wrong, a an accident that, you know, three people are not regarded, three people who have died are uh -huh. not regarded to be big news uh -huh. as like a hundred people who mm -hmm. have died but that is even sadder <laughs> and i'm thinking this All is right. so wrong but mm -hmm. i think people are are, are, are killing themselves mm -hmm. there's a lot of suicide there's mm -hmm. a lot of depression mm -hmm. there's a lot of mental health issues yeah and yeah all, all this and mm -hmm. i think that if we are in a position to change something mm -hmm. we should change something all right yeah and you're uh, passionate about uh, communication because mm -hmm. you think communicating is the best way to change to make change yes all I right am. so after studying communication mm -hmm. uh you're a beautiful woman you easily would have ended up on tv uh, as a news anchor but you chose to, to choose a different Pop. Wait, I uh -huh. did not choose. <laughs> All right. Like, Correct I wouldn't me. say uh -huh. I chose uh -huh. uh, because uh, the story is actually very funny. Once um, I finished journalism mm -hmm. and um, I have a passion for acting, so I'm a part time actress, mm -hmm. and at that time, um, 
business was good, mm -hmm. if I would say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was a time where uh, people would stop me on the road and say, Vivian, I saw you on a certain movie, mm -hmm. uh, I saw you somewhere, and you're doing good. I had uh, 600 people liking my photos. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that was an achievement for me. <laughs> I, I know there are people I, I've, who never are <laughs> I've never made it to 600. I've never made it to 600. So I, I was doing good, I would say, I was doing good. And that, at that time, uh, producers, I would have uh, like three producers needing me at the same time. Mm -hmm. But this uh, time I was coming from uh, actually a stage play because I was mm -hmm. doing uh, books at, at some point. Mm -hmm. And when I'm in a car, when we are in a car and I'm, I'm just seated on my own, I mm -hmm. like I like um, dozing off when mm -hmm. I'm in a car. Uh -huh. So I was sort of it happens like- happens to the best of us. Uh -huh. Dozing off uh -huh. at that time. And um, I just had a voice from mm -hmm. the back. There was a lot of noise. We were in this car that is carrying like all um, all the actors and actresses at that mm -hmm. time. So there was a lot of noise. Mm -hmm. But there is only one thing I had. Mm -hmm. And uh, the person said from the back, I cannot tell you who it was, but I had, if you are the joiner in this car, please just get out. And I knew the Lord spoke to me. Wow, what was happening in this car that made her think there's a Jonah in this car and we need to get Jonah out? Actually, they were not speaking to me. Uh -huh. they, were, they were just having a discussion. Uh -huh. But the Lord just highlighted that into my heart. It's the only thing I can tell you I heard. What do you after do next that, after um, when you get home? So, I knew that the Lord was telling me, you're in the wrong place. If uh -huh. you know the story of, of Jonah, you know he, uh -huh. he was in this uh, ship and then they had yes. to throw him out. Yes, to throw him. So <laughs> did I, they throw you out? They did not. <laughs> they All did right. not. So after that, I knew, I knew in my heart. Mm -hmm. something was wrong and I have always been a church girl mm -hmm. uh, and I knew I was doing the wrong thing like I was doing it the wrong way sort mm -hmm. of uh, uh, putting in, uh, uh -huh. into context your walk so, yeah. you're doing your walk in the yeah, wrong way mm -hmm. yeah so um, after that I got a lot of conviction in my heart mm -hmm. and I said I'm quitting mm -hmm. so at that time I quit everything I quit TV acting I quit mm -hmm. uh, stage plays don't tell me you quit Instagram <laughs> 600 likes. I did not. <laughs> you didn't quit I am still there. Uh, all right. But, you know, like, it had, a, it had an impact. Mm -hmm. And so after that, I did not know what to do. Mm -hmm. And I stayed for two months mm -hmm. with no job. Mm -hmm. And I'm still waiting on God. And I, mm -hmm. I'm telling him, you told me I was doing the wrong thing. So what are you God eating at me, this time? And are you paying my, uh, bills? My savings. Uh -huh. And uh, thank God for my cousin, uh -huh. who I used to live close to. So uh -huh. she would, like, call me and tell me, come. Let's eat supper uh -huh. together. So I had um, mm -hmm. a bit of help, but it was becoming very hard. Mm -hmm. I couldn't pay my rent at some point. And I was telling God, you need, you need to show me what it is that you mm -hmm. want with my heart. And so this one time I go to a conference at All Saints Cathedral mm -hmm. um, here, just opposite uh, Serena. And they, they usually have a youth conference every April. Mm -hmm. So that is uh, uh, in, in 2017. In General April. conference or for women? No, no, it's a youth conference. It's a youth conference, yes. all right. So I go <coughs> and, and I don't even have fare to go home, but I'm mm -hmm. telling God, you told me. And I need, I need you to tell me what it is I need to do after mm -hmm. here because I don't have any other way and I don't want to go back because you told me I was doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. So I, I, um, I, I leave, uh, um, I, I go to the conference and then up, at the very end, mm -hmm. you know, at the tail end where they're recognizing people, this one has been here, mm -hmm. um, some guy goes to the stage and um, he says, I'm Reverend so-and-so, I don't have permission to call his name here, uh -huh. so I will try not to. And he says, I do this and this and this and this. He had actually four posts. Uh -huh. And I'm like, gosh, that guy is doing so much and I'm doing nothing. <laughs> or, so I go to him and I tell him, um, you have so many things. Can I help you? Mm -hmm. So I offered to help. And he said, you want to volunteer? And I'm saying, yes. At that time, I'm staying in Thikaron. Mm -hmm. the, the office in, is in Karen. Mm -hmm. And he's asking, how will you make it? And I told him, I just know. Mm -hmm. I just know that this is what God wants me to do. Mm -hmm. And so I will help you. So I started with typing minutes, mm -hmm. cle uh, cleaning his office. I, I, would, I would be a tea girl, mm -hmm. even at some point. Mm -hmm. And then from, from then on, they saw some potential in me. They mm -hmm. give me an internship. Uh, which I start doing in that office. That's the diocesan office uh -huh. uh, for All Saints Cathedral. And then after that, um, 
they see that I can do something and they uh -huh. see that I'm talented. What are your acting friends and your uh, mass communication uh, friends doing at this time that oh. you're volunteering in church? They, they actually don't understand what is going but on. What were they doing at that time? Are they making some money? Are they living yeah. their best lives? Yes. Uh -huh. How yes, do you they are. how do you relate to this? And now how did you how did you how did you just manage yes, to sure. go through this? Um, yeah. Well, there was a lot of separation first mm -hmm. of all because they thought something was wrong with me, mm -hmm. and so we did not communicate a lot. And I kept on telling them, I, I know that the Lord is doing, I know the Lord is doing, and that language does not make sense to them. So mm -hmm. they were like, uh, uh, who you? something is happening to Vivian so just so there was a lot of separation um, all my producers they just thought I have a face uh, in my life where I'm confused or mm -hmm. something is not happening in the mm -hmm. right way so I, I did not have friends actually at that time I was just me and God just you and God yeah. and God put you through it yeah and and he did and after that internship um, I Land a job mm -hmm. from nowhere with no qualifications, actually zero, zero qualifications. qualifications. What was your <laughs> title? What was your JD? Um, at that time, that is when I got this job that I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. um, the diocesan children and teams coordinator. Mm -hmm. That job is done by someone who has a, a, a theology degree, someone mm -hmm. who has worked with children before, mm -hmm. someone who is clergy ordained, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, with a caller. Mm -hmm. But Vivian is is nothing. Close she she has no theological education. She has. But you're studying theology right now. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, I am. I am uh -huh. studying theology right now. But at that time, uh -huh. when they were giving me that job, uh -huh. I, I had nothing. All right. Yeah. Uh, theology doesn't come cheap. A bachelor's degree in theology yeah, doesn't it, come cheap. It doesn't. How do you manage to, to finance this? Um, once I got my job, now uh -huh. I was able to sort of like plan myself and I could raise a bit of money, uh -huh. plus also the church um, helps me raise right. a bit of money. So I'm, I'm able to pay my school fees. All right. Yeah. So uh, every, when somebody gets, when people get into ministry, they picture themselves as TD Jakes speaking to multitudes of people and impacting lives and uh, speaking some grown mm -hmm. folk stuff. Mm -hmm. But you chose to work with kids. Yeah. First, did you choose it or did it choose you? Because <laughs> I, now I have to be very careful with you. I, yeah. <laughs> Um, the Lord chose me. Mm -hmm. He did. He did. Because um, if I tell you I knew anything, mm -hmm. I would be lying to you. Uh, but you know what they say, the Lord qualifies mm -hmm. the ones that he calls. He does mm -hmm. not call the qualified, he qualifies them. Mm -hmm. And that is what the Lord has continued to do in my life. He has taught me how to deal with kids. And I have always loved to play with kids, mm -hmm. not to like, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> not to like teach them at all. Uh -huh. But he has continued to teach me how to work with kids. And I'm so grateful for that. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually thank the Lord for taking me through uh, this because I know that we can only change society mm -hmm. when we begin down there. When we start from the mm -hmm. ground up, because uh, <laughs> they're already corrupt, they cannot change this country. The kids are the people who are going to change this country. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. and I believe in them. They have a lot of potential. They have a lot of potential. They have a, and, and you see, once you have taught a child, mm -hmm. they, these things, they never depart from them. Even the Bible says yes. that. Uh -huh. And some of the things that we see, the songs that we sing, Father Abraham, you learned them when you were a yes, child. Yes, and you right? never sing them for a very long time, but mm -hmm. you never forget them. Yeah, even yeah. so many stories about yeah, the Bible, you learn yeah. them as kids. Yeah. Even the language, even mm -hmm. the accent that you learn as a kid is the one you'll carry for, mm -hmm. the, for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Another thing is kids say the dumbest things sometimes. <laughs> uh, have you ever gotten a question from a kid and you're like, okay, this is a very tough question. Yeah. Something questioning the Bible sometimes. Uh, have you ever? Yes. Do you remember? Actually, all the time. All right. All the time, especially when it comes to doctrinal issues. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're telling a child mm -hmm. that there is God, mm -hmm. there is Jesus, and there is the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. and all of them are one God. Yes, God the Father, <laughs> God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Yeah, right. yeah. So that confuses them a lot. They are like, what? How? How is dad and mom and child one person? Like, mm -hmm. Like, you know, because they are trying to think mm -hmm. about it from what they can see. From what that they can see, yeah. What they can they see in touch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But um, it, it becomes... 
an issue to actually yes. try to explain that. Have you them. found a way to explain <laughs> it over time? Um, there is no, <laughs> no, there is no way you can explain uh -huh. the Trinity uh -huh. to a child because, um, in a way that they would fully understand, understand. Uh -huh. you know, at that time, the doctrine of the Trinity is hard even for us. Yes, I don't us. understand it <laughs> as, as we speak right yeah, now. Yeah. I don't understand, I just accepted it because mm -hmm. it's in. The holy book. It is. But I don't get it up to up to date. <laughs> yeah. So it's very tough for kids to get it, it sometimes. Is, it <laughs> is, but um, the Lord has just a way of communicating mm -hmm. to them. You know, you just teach them that there is this. Mm -hmm. And um, with time you will get to understand it. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you as you said, you don't you don't really understand and that is the mystery of God. Mm -hmm. That there is so many there are so many things about him mm -hmm. that we don't get. Mm -hmm. But after it's done, you mm -hmm. look back and say, Oh, that was him. That was him, right? That yeah. was him. That all right, all right. That, so yeah. sometimes you need to see the actions of God mm -hmm. to comprehend it's what true. is all yeah. about. Yeah, because our minds are just so small, you mm -hmm. know, and even the Bible says, you know, as far as the heavens are from the earth, mm -hmm. um, so are my thoughts away from your thoughts. <laughs> so you're like, ah, okay, this is just God. Mm -hmm. This is his thing. Mm -hmm. Let him just be God. Wonderful. Another yeah. thing is uh, you were a kid someday yeah, and you saw your generation, how you grew up, the kids games you use to play do you think uh, it has changed for kids now the kids now are different um i think we are the ones who are changing the kids the kids yeah. are still the same it's very hard to expect an answer from me <laughs> <laughs> you always go no uh, it, it is it is true uh -huh. because kids always want to go out and play mm -hmm. they want they actually want to just have play with mad mm -hmm. they want they want to be kids uh -huh. they want to swim go uh -huh. to you know but my niece cries way. for phone nowadays yeah because we are the ones who have exposed them to those phones mm -hmm. it is because a child sees you mm -hmm. and you know a child will copy from you they, they actually won't listen to yeah you. they They'll will see what you do and uh -huh. copy it so All you're right. always on your phone so they'll be like what is this they're always on their phone so i want to know what what is that mm -hmm. in that phone that 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 so you, always what you're trying to it. tell me you cannot teach your kid not to play with the phone you have to show them not to play with the, with the phone exactly by yes. not using your phone when you're around them yeah yeah because when you're like this they're like i want to play with you like i want to build Do blocks something. with uh -huh. you i want to but this is what is catching your attention actually uh -huh. it's very uh weird that kids are looking at what is catching your attention and going to it uh -huh. uh, well you're the one who was supposed to look at the ch child and uh -huh. know what is catching their attention uh -huh. and go to to, to play uh, with them uh, uh, you know so they, are, the they want they want their parents uh -huh. Kids want their parents. They want to learn from you. Uh -huh. They want to draw from you because you're their first role model as a parent. But this is what you're showing them. So th that is what they will copy. Wow, I'm learning so much about kids. If you're learning as well, and if you have any queries or opinions, white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, and white 54 on Facebook. Hashtag is one in the morning. Hashtag is Queen's Wednesday. We are with the future, Reverend. Is out, <laughs> Vivian. <laughs> In the studio. All right, so Vivian. Uh, <laughs> Moving on, uh, you're uh, you you're you're studying uh, theology. Yes. You're about to get your bachelor's degree in yes, theology. Uh, I'd like to know how is the how is the setting there in in school? Uh, how many are you in class, for instance? Um, in a normal class, we usually like between twenty and thirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Twenty and thirty. Yeah. Uh, how many queens are there? Oh. What percentage? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know what percentage, but mm -hmm. I can tell you for sure. Like we are three in our class. Three. Yeah. Three out of ladies. thirty. Yes. Wow. That's that's what percentage? I don't know. That's like three. <laughs> <laughs> that's like one percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And the interesting thing is, um, finding someone young, uh, yeah, is is all different. Right. Yeah, you will it's find 10 percent. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but. I'm actually the only one in my class who is like young. Mm -hmm. The others are way older, like women who have already had children mm -hmm. and they're done. So they are, they, they've come back to just right. learn and give back to society. What is, uh, why are queens not picking up the microphone and just <laughs> sharing the word with us? Uh -huh. I think they're there, but there has been a lot of... Uh, uh, I don't know what to call it, to call it stigma or what mm -hmm. in the society that people will st st discourage you a lot. Mm -hmm. you, a you, you actually told me that I would have landed a job in media, I would have 
Mm -hmm. I would have Killed done it. that. <laughs> you, you would have slayed it. I would have it. done that. Uh -huh. But then um, I, I chose a different path. Mm -hmm. Rather, the Lord chose a different path for me. Yes, now I know but, better. <laughs> uh -huh. But um, there is a lot of people actually talked to me and said, Vivian, mm -hmm. wh why are you why are you doing this thing? Like, it sounds oh, crazy to some yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Why, why would you leave every other thing? Leave all the fame that comes with uh, acting. Mm -hmm. Leave all the attention that mm -hmm. comes with 600 it. 600 likes. You know, they would have gotten more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All yeah. Right. But yeah. Yeah. So it becomes hard for a girl, mm -hmm. especially when uh, people are just discouraging you. But mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm like, when you are young, that is when the Lord needs you. Mm -hmm. I mean, not when you are old and you're looking mm -hmm. for a retirement job. But what do you have to say about the Bible verse that says women are not allowed in the, what do you call it, the, the synagogue? Actually, uh -huh. we, could, we could do a, a whole study on that. <laughs> <laughs> it is wrongly so. interpreted. Right. It, actually, it actually is. When Paul is talking about women, and mm -hmm. actually even uh, uh, putting their, um, covering their heads, mm -hmm. What is he really talking about? He's, is he just talking about covering their heads? He's not. Mm -hmm. He's not. I, I should probably have a session to just preach about that. <laughs> yes. I think the Christmas episode, the Christmas episode, we are going to have you just to preach about that in particular. Yeah. But what Paul is talking about, he's talking about the leadership mm -hmm. of a man to a woman when mm -hmm. he's talking about that. The, the truth is, it is... It is the order of creation mm -hmm. that a man will be the head of a lady. That is what the Lord said. Mm -hmm. And when Paul is trying, to, is talking about leadership, mm -hmm. he is talking about these women not going out there and, and disregarding the authority of a man. Mm -hmm. Because at that time, the, the, the people he's talking to, the women are acting as if, you know, we are not married and we can do mm -hmm. everything that, that, that we want to. Mm -hmm. And a woman just stands there and they are, maybe they are, their husband is unable to has d does not have the gift of teaching uh, in terms of teaching the word you know mm -hmm. you can have a wife who has the gift of teaching the word mm -hmm. and you don't mm -hmm. but then the wife just goes out there and shines and does not regard or <laughs> give respect to the husband uh, shine is, what... is supposed to be shed shine sh <laughs> shine is meant to be shed <laughs> actually I think the people who are married <coughs> would tell Sorry. you that every lady uh -huh. shines out there uh -huh. Is, is because their husband support them and mm -hmm. we ought to respect that right. you cannot you cannot have um, shining mm -hmm. out there if your husband is not actually and the, and the, the reverse is also true every yeah. married man that shines out there mm -hmm. there's something the woman is doing yeah. that we might never know about yeah. Yeah. so and it's a support know, structure women are strong women are strong women are strong actually when people <laughs> just right here it's all here <laughs> <laughs> When women, uh -huh. when people are talking about strength, uh -huh. they should actually reconsider. I uh -huh. think women are stronger than men. All right, that is a debate for another day. <laughs> After the Christmas episode, we'll have a debate on whether men are stronger than women or each one of us is unique in their own way. Yeah. But yeah, uh, as we as as we sum things up, mm -hmm. I'd like to. We, you can't leave this place without talking about the relation between church and state, obviously, because uh, there's a lot of talk going around. Mm. Politicians should not be giving money in church. Preachers <laughs> say, we are not to judge. It's upon the Lord to judge. We cannot allow certain people to come into church and let other people outside because they're politicians and people think this and that about them. And we cannot accept offering from specific people and uh, stop taking offering from certain people. Just... So you have studied and known that I am an Anglican and you have known that my Archbishop made a statement about that. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm not saying <laughs> but yeah. It represents the Anglican Church. Yeah. The Bishop represents the Anglican Church. And you're a member of the Anglican Church. Okay. I'd like to, to know what's your take on this. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to say that I honor the the um, um, the wisdom of the Archbishop of Kenya mm -hmm. who um, who is actually um, the leadership of, mm -hmm. of, of the Anglican Church, mm -hmm. and he's actually my boss. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> yeah, so I actually agree uh, mm -hmm. with him because there are, the consequences are more. It's not only about the money; mm -hmm. it's about the things that come after the money. Mm -hmm. 
uh, I think you've had even in let me come down to wedding committees. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they, they are somewhere around our age. We yes, nowadays they're in them. WhatsApp groups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Easy. So mm -hmm. it is, if the committee gives you money, mm -hmm. they are the ones who say what you will do. <laughs> money is actually very strong. Money you is know? influence. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So when, when the Archbishop is talking about money and the church, he's mm -hmm. trying to protect the, the image of the church that we, we ought to have mm -hmm. that say in terms of what we stand for and what we do not stand mm -hmm. for but when you come and give us uh, millions which is not is is, is, is is it will help in terms of development mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. It will mean that you would also want to have a seat in uh -huh. our table when we are discussing things of the church. Mm -hmm. You want to sit down and say blah, 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 because you give, you feel entitled. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are trying to avoid. Uh -huh. That we let us separate politics from church. Uh -huh. Because honestly, well, there are some leaders in, in like uh, David was a prophet and a king at the same time, uh -huh. but still at the moment where we are at, when, when we allow our politicians to come and take um, um, the podium because they are giving us money, mm -hmm. then we shift their attention from God mm -hmm. to the politician, which is wrong. Which is wrong, for yes, sure. Yes, so what we're trying to do is protect the church protect the, the church of the church uh -huh. so i actually agree with him all right you yes. actually agree with them yes, I do. but still church is for everyone yes it is all and right. everyone is welcome uh -huh. everyone is welcome everyone is to welcome church. to church yeah. but we still need to protect the church yeah yeah and god has to be the order of the day mm -hmm. it's not a politician uh -huh. you know sometimes you go to church and you're especially during uh, the times of um, um, um elections mm -hmm. you you find that the the sermon takes 20 minutes mm -hmm. and the, the 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 whoever is there like maybe the governor or the senator is given a whole hour mm -hmm. which is wrong <laughs> i mean we're in church to from know your God. face i can tell it makes you really sad <laughs> and like <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> another thing I'd like to talk about is uh, more and more people uh, shine off mm -hmm. religion because because uh, of many reasons. They give many reasons. Some people will say uh, pastors are abusing the church because uh, of the ones that are highlighted by by the media, as you said. Uh, the media will give attention to the bad preachers, mm -hmm. and the good preachers will never get attention. But yeah, people will shy away from church because of such reasons. Mm -hmm. Some people will say religion is the cause of every problem we have in this world. Because uh, this religion is fighting against the other religion. I won't mention the names, but we have terrorism because of religion. We have all these things because of religion. Uh, what would you tell that youth right there who's looking at the world, looking at Syria, and saying this is as a result of uh, Muslim and Christianity mm -hmm. conflict, mm -hmm. and uh, looking at countries that have war that, are, that have been caused by religion and they say no I'm not going to associate myself with this let me just be uh, an atheist what are you going to tell that person first of all the underlying factor uh -huh. is that God is love mm -hmm. God is love and everyone who does not preach love does not preach God mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. if you are preaching that I should kill someone, then you're not preaching the true gospel. Mm -hmm. Because God is love. And even the Apostle Paul says, even if you can do everything, you can speak in tongues and you can heal and you can do all miracles, miracles but mm -hmm. you don't have love, mm -hmm. then you, you're not preaching the true gospel. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, what I must say is that Christianity or rather religion is a relationship between you and God mm -hmm. and so it's not about the third party mm -hmm. what that pastor is doing what mm -hmm. that other one is doing it's not about you and that pastor it's mm -hmm. about you and God when you stand before the throne of God mm -hmm. it will be God and Barry and asking him why did you not do this and this and this and this ask yourself mm -hmm. about that do you because when you stand there you won't say it is that politician mm -hmm. it is that preacher mm -hmm. it will just be you and, and God. God and so, so it's all about you don't look at the outside world yeah find your own uh, yeah. spirit yeah. and relate to it and talk yeah. to your spirit yeah and you know god is alive right. he is he is and the gospel is out there this is evident yeah yeah Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> i hope you've Glory. got the message from wherever you're watching us from <laughs> if you had started doubting the word we had it straight from Vivian. Vivian, the last question of the day. In many male-dominated industries, we have uh, women facing challenges uh, here and there. And this is definitely a male-dominated industry. Uh, so what are some of the challenges you're facing and how have you overcome them over time? Um, 
first of all, I think the challenge that we have as ladies looking down mm -hmm. upon us is because we are ladies mm -hmm. and because uh, the society has a way of looking at us. Mm -hmm. So I think the first thing that you must do is make a decision mm -hmm. uh, from your heart and follow it. Mm -hmm. And so long as you have the... the, the um, the spirit of God and the spirit of God has actually sp spoken to you and mm -hmm. you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, the, the one that does not have any doubt mm -hmm. that the Lord has called you to do this, do it and do not, do not like look at the challenges mm -hmm. because everyone has a challenge one time or the other time. Sometimes um, people uh, don't, don't look at you uh, mm -hmm. with, with an eye that they would look at a man with because you're a lady, mm -hmm. they would not expect you to do something because they think you're a weaker mm -hmm. race, uh, the weaker species. Mm -hmm. But I think, um, and I believe mm -hmm. that um, we ought to believe in ourselves mm -hmm. even more. No matter the challenges, you've mm -hmm. got to push. Uh -huh. You've got to push. I mean, if you want to break that wall, uh -huh. you, you can't break it in a day. You uh -huh. have to keep hitting and hitting and hitting uh -huh. and hitting. And that is what I would want to tell every other lady. If you feel that you want to be a doctor, mm -hmm. And you, it's and not you only know. here, you know, in, in, in the it, not, in, in not only in ministry, mm -hmm. whatever it is that the Lord has called you to do, because even being a doctor is a calling. I mean, I, I can't be a doctor, first of all, because mm -hmm. I, I can't deal with it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. So, this is yours. Yeah. So, whatever uh, God has, has called you mm. to, to, uh, to get into, and He equips, He, uh, equips. he will equip you for yeah, sure. He does, whether you're a woman, whether you're a man, yes, yes, yes. So, you've got right. to be, believe in God. Before you even believe in, 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 in anything else and then believe in yourself. Right. Don't believe in any other thing because they will disappoint. All right. So kids who, uh, who keep playing with their phones <laughs> and uh, their parents would like them to know the Lord a little bit. Uh, where do you teach these kids and when? Um, I am at the diocesan office. Our offices are in Cayenne. Uh -huh. um, All Saints Cathedral Diocese. Um, offices are in Cayenne at uh, St. Nicholas mm -hmm. and you can find me there mm -hmm. um, but um, under me I have like 12 parishes so mm -hmm. I'm always like moving around it's mm -hmm. not like I'm in one place mm -hmm. but at the office you will find me I can help you get materials to teach children mm -hmm. uh, we can engage in trainings mm -hmm. uh, for training the teachers training the parents on how to deal with even transition for teens okay. uh, we do all that and you know, we can come together and, and you know, okay. and, uh, um, uh, something that is beautiful. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you watch album Jesus is King? <laughs> 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 you have to. Yes. Okay. Uh, first of all, I am no you. I am only a human being. I am not God, so I will leave the judgment to God. All right. Yeah. yeah. Have you listened to it, maybe? <laughs> I haven't. You haven't listened I to haven't, Jesus King. But I know um, all, all the issues that I like. You know about the Sunday it. service and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But right. I am. I am not. I'll bite and share it with you. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming <laughs> to I in the morning. Uh, we you appreciate sir, you. Man. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, and I'm yeah. looking forward to having you back so we can thank dissect you. that uh, thing about women not being allowed in the, yeah, in the yeah, cinema, yeah, right? Yeah, we should. All right, we've come to the end of Strength of a Woman. We had Vivian right on set, Future Reverend. She's passionate about kids. And uh, yes, she, uh, she works with All Saints Cathedral. Diocese. That diocese. Yes. All right. Uh, the lingo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to learn the lingo. So that is it right there. We still have God's talk coming up your way.